What's up guys, this is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 20 new tweaks. Now before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that all the tweak names, sources, and information is in the description down below. Alright, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Icon 8 or 2 gives you complete control over your home screen. Using the quick settings option that can be toggled on through the settings, you could have complete control over rows, columns, insets, size of your icons, and as soon as you make the changes using the quick menu, as you can see on the fly, directly in the background, you could see the icons adjusting accordingly. So it's an awesome, fun, intuitive, and quick way to completely customize your home screen. In addition to the quick settings, there's a whole host of additional toggles and settings in the settings app for the tweak that you could configure to your liking. Dragger brings full drag and drop support from the iPads to the iPhone on iOS 12. As you can see right here, I just dragged something from Safari. I'm going to put, put it right into the messages application, and this is not something that you're traditionally able to do on the iPhone. Honey brings the Apple Watch grid interface to the iPhone home screen, so definitely a nice departure from what we're used to. Magma allows you to add color to the different toggles in the control center, as you can see right here. And of course, this can be customized through the settings for the tweak. Sleep Busy allows you to set a sleep timer easily directly within the music module in the control center. So it has a very native looking great interface, again, directly within the control center with a whole host of options to configure. Speculum allows you to completely customize your lock screen slash cover sheet interface and uh, by default this is the setup that it comes with and it looks quite nice but the sky's the limit here in terms of customization. Shy labels will hide your icon labels unless you interact with the home screen and then they'll show and then they'll hide again just like that. So as you can see it's a subtle way to have that sleek look but still have the icon labels if you want to see them. Vibrancy allows you to set this beautiful blur effect to take effect in certain areas of iOS. Here's the settings app. You can see the wallpaper showing through for the messages app as well. You could see it with the keyboard as well and just a few other areas, for instance, widgets and folders as well. Just like that. Centaur provides a highly customizable new take on Notification Center. So as you can see right here, this is a quite different interface than what we're used to. You can see this is how the notifications show up with their individual icons. You could hit show more to expand just like this and show less to collapse. You can see we have a row of toggles here and now playing interface and of course a redesigned view for the date and time and along with the Wi-Fi strength, cellular strength and battery. So again, just a refreshed take on Notification Center. Selection Plus provides you with a ton of options to customize the text selection interface in iOS. It actually makes the interface vertical, as you can see right here, as opposed to horizontal. And my personal favorite feature is its ability to show all of the options in one list rather than having multiple pages, which is normally how it is in iOS, as you can see here on the left, where again, you can see on the right with this tweak, it just shows everything in one option. So it's easier to select the option that you want. Oh My Flash allows you to set your flashlight to automatically disable after a certain amount of time, which you can configure right in the settings for this tweak. As you can see, timeout in minutes, I have it set to one. Then you could press save, and then as soon as you turn the flashlight on after that desired amount of time, the flashlight will automatically turn off. Now, of course, I edited this sequence for the sake of time, but you can see the flashlight did indeed turn off on its own, which, of course, will save your battery if you forget to turn your flashlight off. Rainbow allows you to customize the color of various different tints throughout iOS. For instance, the messages application here, you could see I have different color bubbles than the standard blue. Also, in the notes application here, you could see, again, the color of various different tints throughout the interface. You could see there, again, all the buttons have different colors. I'm currently using the random mode, so it's gonna give me random colors, but of course you could customize this tweak however you like. Stick around allows you to pin any option from the main list view in the settings to the top of the settings app for easy access. You just swipe to the left on any option and it gives you the option to pin. If you select that, you can see it will be added to the top for easy access, just like that. If you want to remove an item, just swipe on it again, press unpin, and it's gone. Chrono adds seconds to the world clock in the stock clock app, just like this. Quick CC allows you to easily select Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices right from the control center, similar to iOS 13. So if you just go ahead and tap and hold on the respective Bluetooth or Wi-Fi button, you can see that it will bring up these settings just like that. Modern Power is a very minimalist, sleek alternative to the power off screen. As you can see, it's very sleek. It pops in from the side of the screen just like this. You have the option to power off your device, reboot, as well as some additional options if you click more. 
Maple brings the never released air power animation to your device. So basically when you plug your device into charge while it's locked, you'll get this very nice animation. And of course, Apple showed this off on stage at their keynote. And while we're on the lock screen, I want to talk about weather unlock text, which replaces the press home to unlock or swipe up to unlock text with the weather as you can see just like that. Hide NC text hides the text that says notification center above notifications as you can see right here, just like this. And here's a similar tweak called I know the time that hides the date and time when you're on the widgets page as you can see just like this with the tweak and then normally in iOS it stays. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more tweak videos to come, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.